Yo, your boy's gone and done it again. I've given away brand new PS5s. I've given away all the latest trainers. But look what I've got to give away this week. A brand new iPhone 12. This could be yours. All you got to do is go along to AFTV.mobi, go to AFTV Picks and enter our free competition. Yes, it's free. Go and do that. Go head to head against me and the iPhone 12 could be yours. Get involved right now. Go to AFTV.mobi. The link is in the description and uh, great way to start the new year. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome to AFTV News Daily with myself, Cecil G. But James being the wings, you know how it all runs and how it all flows. Today's um today's quite it's quite a sad day. I guess it's the end of 2020. It comes to the end of 2020. What a year. <laughs> That's it. That's what I'm gonna leave it as. What a year. Um we've got loads to get through today. We've got a nice little schedule. You can probably see down here on the ticker. I want you guys to get your comments in. It's, it's a discussion show, most improved player of the year, favorite moment of the year, has to be Arsenal related, player of the year, and expected player of the year 2021. Um going forward, obviously we'll kind of look into the future a little bit, you know what I mean? Um I saw they did it on match a day, so I can't take all the credit. I saw that. Um, so I took that from there and I'll put it straight into this show. But yes. Everyone, stay tuned. Get your comments in, please. As you know, I always read through the comments um, before we start our show. YOLO says, oh, this is a different... Oh, it's, it's different. Um, <laughs> sorry, we've changed the theme today, me and James. <laughs> it's been Saka. It's been Saka's year for sure. Now, you know my bias. You know my bias. I'm going to be screaming Saka, but we're going to really get into it. Before we do that, let me introduce James B as he comes in. Um... Don't hate on me. I just want to use it. Last, this is the last time I'm going to use it. I think. I think this is it. I think after today, it's only right to get rid of the sound machine. There are many things that need to be left behind in 2020, and that sound machine is up there. You know. This is one. I think this is going to haunt me of 2020. When I, I'm going to hide this away somewhere in my house, and then it's going to be one year. I'm going to unravel just things, and I'm going to find this to think this was the year. That was, that was the. <laughs> It's just a I've, I've got to say, I'm I'm very happy this year's coming to an end. It's been just an absolute roller coaster for everyone. Um, uh, not just from a footballing perspective, obviously, just for, for, for many reasons, it's been just it's gone really quickly. As as mad as it's been, it's gone really quickly this year. Um, mm. And I think a lot of people have felt there's been a lot of uncertainty, a lot of anxiety, a lot of all sorts of things. Um, but you know, we're an Arsenal channel. We're here to talk about Arsenal, and there have been some some good moments and some positives from 2020. So let's try and reflect on them. Yeah, there's there's been some interesting moments. It's been, it's been yeah, like you said, some good moments, some really some really down moments. But listen, we've got a new. We're about to head into a new year, and there's hopefully plenty more positivity and and good things coming our way. So let's start, James. Let's. Let's kind of bring down and guy, everyone watching, this is this is your this is it, this is your time as well. I want to go through all the comments, pop them up. So we're gonna start with we want to start with the um, best player of, of 2020 or this season. We're gonna start with most improved player of the year at, at Arsenal, yeah. Because I know there might be I saw before we started, there was obviously other I don't know if there was other fans, but there was definitely definitely was they'll give their player of the year, but for um I guess every team, but we're going to stick with Arsenal because this is FTV, of course, Arsenal TV. So let's get with with most improved player of the year. Now, hmm, I haven't actually I, had. I think, on, I, think, I think there's four candidates here in particular. And by okay. the way, most improved doesn't mean our best players. It, it just means the ones that, after what they did in 2019, I think really surprised me or at least improved throughout 2020. Um, hmm. I've been seeing a lot of shouts for Tierney and Saka. I think Tierney and Saka, in fairness, came in at a level. Certainly yes. Tierney did. Saka, yes, you could say most improved, but I'm not sure that's quite because we never had a bad expectation of Saka, if that makes sense. So um, the four I'm looking at are Granite Jacker, as Footballology yeah. said there. Yep, yeah, Rob Holding, as Rahil has said. Uh, Danny Ceballos, I think, is definitely up there after... Flattering to deceive in his first couple of months, I think in 2020 has been very good for us. And then a weird one, I've gone for David Luiz as well. Okay, Lu- I think yeah. Well, I'm just going to throw in quickly one extra one. I think El Nenny needs to be in there as well, in my opinion. I know that sounds crazy, but I, 
he's he improved for me. I mean, he's had a bit of a but. But he has improved. I don't know. What are your thoughts? My, 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 my thoughts on um, on El Neni are he didn't come till come back till September, so he missed all the project restart and the FA Cup win. Um, mm. And then he was kind of he improved for like a month or two, and then basically throughout the rest of November after the United game in December has been average at best with some poor okay. performances in there. So I didn't feel he was one for me. Made a a good shout but again. Was Made a ever bad? I don't think Maitland-Niles ever played bad no, for us. He just didn't get a run, really. He just didn't yeah. get a run. I, I run agree. Um, so I'm okay. not... Um, oh, I'm seeing that... <laughs> <Go on. laughs> there's going to be some banter. In, there's definitely going to be some good banter today because there's so many questions where I could... I'm not always going to pull up. I'll see you go. <laughs> William, William, William yeah. is the, the most... The, the, the opposite... Decline. Yeah, <laughs> you know, no player has had a greater decline from what they were at the beginning of 2020 to what they are now. Um, uh, not trying to dig, I'm just being serious. He was much better for Chelsea than um, than he was for us. So um, hopefully, he rediscovers that form if he stays. But yeah, okay. Well, um, for James, all right then, James. One then, let's do this then. One. Well, I, I, I mean, I'm I'm trying to look for inspiration from the comments. Some some people are saying Mustafi. Let's bring up one here who said Mustafi, which I don't think Finley Salmon. I don't think that's a terrible shout, whether they're sort of joking or not, Finley. I'm not sure, but if it's a legitimate claim, I, I think there's something to that because you think, yeah, th yeah, because when Arteta arrived, if we did this poll at the end of the 1920 season, I think Mustafi wins it hands down. But then he had the injury, so he missed the first month or two of action for this year. And then he um, he's not really had a run and he's not looked that convincing when he has played. But really? I think that's partly down to rustiness or whatever. So I, th I think Mustafi, is, it's worth highlighting that when Arteta arrived, Mustafi really, really improved. I mean, his performances were superb. I remember when he got injured in the FA Cup semi-final, we were really disappointed because he was looking so good. Mm. Um, I don't think he's going to take this award, but... Um, Would Jack would you put Xhaka in the same sort of boat for then for that? Because he, he before, well, once Arteta come back in, he kind of started um, having a better tra trajectory in, in this season. Obviously, it went a bit, it went a bit left um, last month, but he's kind of he slowly made it back, back into the, well, I don't know, it depends what fan you're talking to, but made it back into the fans' hearts. But I don't know, would you say he's improved from, from last yeah. year? Yeah, yeah you, you've got to say Granit Xhaka looks a much better player under uh, Mikel Arteta than he does on, than he did under Unai Emery. Um, I'd even say under um, Arsene Wenger. He he looks more disciplined. I know he got sent off against Burnley, but I don't know. I went in on him for that. But that was, in fairness, like a one-off. He, he hadn't done that for a long time. You just know he's kind of always got that in him, which is what's frustrating. Um, mm. But then he came back against Chelsea, was superb. And he came back against, uh, you know, sorry, played against Brighton and looked pretty good in that game. Nothing special, but looked fine. I think you've got to say for the part he played in the the game in, in the Community Shield against Liverpool, how good he was against at Wembley against City and Chelsea. He's up there. I'm finding this difficult. I think Danny Ceballos as well has looked very good, but he's been in and out of the team. Um, I say looked very good in terms of what we were what we got from him before Christmas, but I. Don't know. Have you got your vote yet? I'm finding this difficult. You know what? It's difficult, especially Sabios. I mean, I that doesn't play for us anymore. But this is David. David Barrett. Thank you. That that he 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 would probably win if it was if, if it he was stayed, if he stayed, he would 100 percent win. 100 yeah, 100 percent. He's yeah. been last this season. Um, Martinez in goal. But um, I don't know. I also want to talk. I mean, is is Lacar improved? Like to me. He's on. He's on his. I know. It depends. Depends what lack you're looking at. Depends what you're comparing it to. But right now, I feel like he he's improving. Um, but uh, it's also a tricky one. He's not really. Oh, I mean, I, he suggested. I don't know. But I think. Um, I think I'm giving this one to Rob Holding. Um, Sabas is my faith. Um, <laughs> I think I'm giving this one to Rob Holding. But there you've got your vote as well, and we'll see what everyone says. Um, I wish I could present you with, with something there, holding, but unfortunately, yeah. we do not have any 
think I can give to you. Um, just, um, Rob Holding, just it's it's a it's a big up. <laughs> well done. Um, I, I I've gone for Holding because um, I think across the year, starting as not really part of the team. Mm. Sort of, he had injuries. He, he had a big injury, and he needed to kind of play himself back into it after a really serious knee injury. Um, he then kind of he was well, he wasn't in the team. He was behind. He was behind Luis, Mustafi, Kalazinac, Tierney, and that back three. He's then called in to play in the FA Cup final after a few injuries and did really, really well, all things considered. He was going to go out on loan and Arteta decided to keep him. And he's now like the first centre back on the team sheet uh, out of two. But he, or a back three, you get my point though. You know, he's, mm. Arteta seems to have a lot of faith in him. In the last few games, he's looked very good. So, um, yeah, I'm giving it to Rob Holding. I think in terms of an improvement across the whole calendar year, um, I'm giving it to him. And I like his character and I like his attitude. And he's, yeah, I've got a lot of respect yeah. for him. I want him. I want it to work for him. Do you know what, right? I'm kind of stuck between Xhaka and Tierney. Now, this is sound mad because I'm the giving most Xhaka. Tierney, yeah, I, yeah, I know, I know, because he said he came in at a level where you thought we knew yeah. we didn't. He came in good level, but I actually didn't. He's actually shocked me of how good he's been. That's why I'm going to say I think it's most surprising. But I, I suppose it's kind of like. Yeah, no, no. He he had a lot of um, credibility before Tierney, so it's kind of a kind of a small cop out because he was already a good player. However, I just didn't expect him to be such such an integral player for Arsenal. Um, so yeah, so I just I, it's either going to be him or Xhaka, but I don't want to give it to I don't want to give it to Xhaka. It doesn't deserve. I don't know. You know do you not think? Um, do you not think? Oh, here you go. Someone said it here. I know we mentioned it, but I think Louise deserves a really Whoa. good shout. I know, I know you've liked you've liked Louise. I've liked it? Louise. You spun the whole whole. Uh, yep. Yeah. Who said that? Who said that? Oh, sorry. Just... Yes, Finley. We are doing the mo- we're doing the most improved at the moment. Yeah, most improved um, first. Most improved first. What about Louise? Yep. Um, Numa. I think someone else said it as well. Thank you so much. You absolutely completely spun my spun it three six. This is why I like having the comments. This is why I like having the comments. This is why. There, this is having you guys. Is it helps me so yeah I think Louise um yeah no I've really liked him this season if I'm honest I think him and Gabriel to me are still the strongest centre back part um pair so yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna give it to Louise he he deserves it he, he's 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 come a long way at Arsenal I still think there's more for him to 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 offer us as well in my opinion as long as he just doesn't do nothing outlandish and wild um which mm. he's, he's capable of but yeah no i think um <laughs> louise is going to be my most improved player so a little round of applause i'm not going to use the sound machine because now i've been put away so that is Ooh. me for 2020 that is our most improved player guys um thank you for the help as always um let's do what we, what we, what's up next favorite oh this one's going to be tough favorite moment God, everyone, right this is i told you this is this is a me you and james show guys favorite moment of the year arsenal related now this is going to take some talking points mm. I, well, i've got a few i've got a few but i got you go on you talk to me in terms of i think i think we should just list a few that have been just quite special um i think the martinelli goal where he ran the length of the pitch Mm-hmm. And I know Kante slipped, and uh, yeah, okay, whatever. He still had to carry the ball a long way, keep his pace to keep ahead of everyone, keep the ball at his feet nicely, and slot it past the keeper. Um, the Wembley run, I know winning the FA Cup, but beating City the way we did, beating yeah. Chelsea with that Aubameyang goal, even the Community Shield felt good, uh, to be honest. Um, they were quite special. I think um, the day we signed Thomas Partey, yeah, that, we were dancing. That, that was special, man. The the we basically we party like it was. We literally party. partied for party like it was um some real scenes. It kind of reminds yes. you that twenty twenty's not been all doom and gloom from an arse like, perspective. James, you know what's one of my top ones as well? It sounds a bit sign signed the thing when a bang yang. I don't know what I yeah. think it was just the, it was the moment of it. Of course, I don't know what it was. It was just it was massive for me. I don't know why. Obviously, some people may flip it and be like yeah we know he signed it he hasn't been firing since but 
uh, that was such a big moment for me seeing a Bamiyang sign like the big build up I was literally messaging commenting like just sign the thing like yeah um, do you know what I mean you're right that someone here agrees with you uh LF plays yeah a lot of people agreed that, that was um that was their moment I've got I've got another one it's a bit of a Go weird one. I think this this goes down to my second favorite moment <laughs> It was when we were trying to sign Gabriel and Arsenal mm. fans were tracking him like Yo, yeah. via every medium <laughs> possible. The way they analysed his Instagram story and they're like, well, it's cloudy in England. That looks like a British cloud. And he's sitting on this side, so he must be in a in a British car. And about right this time, must mean it's before 7pm. And also the car looks like a certain model which is the one that Tierney drove in when he saw it. I was like this is nuts and then people were tracking a flight from Lille to London and they yeah. were atting Fabrizio Romano being like yo Fab is this his flight and Fab was like it is indeed and people were like Gabby's coming and I was thinking what a fan base what it's, a what, fan it's world base. class it's literally world How class we tracked Gabriel from... it's unbelievable <laughs> The work that went into it was, um, I've got to say, Arsenal fans get a lot of stick, all fan bases get a lot of stick, but I, I had huge admiration for that. Like, yeah, same. you know, same. signings same. want to feel wanted when they come, and my God, we did our bit. Yeah. And it must play yeah. a part in Gabriel making a quick start and settling in, knowing that he's so loved already, so wanted. And I just thought it was great. He, he did an Instagram Live and people were saying, like, touch your hat if you're joining Arsenal. And then, like, two minutes later, he'd go... And people were like, oh, he's joining! <laughs> you know, it was, yeah, the it was world, great. It's world-class. Even now, James, if you go on a Waz Instagram, yeah, the comments <laughs> are filled. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we are, man. But when do Even, you in? Like, I just mentioned it. If you go on a Waz Instagram, people, if you look at the comments, every, every or the most like, most recent posts, everything's like sign for Arsenal. We're waiting for your Arsenal. Can't wait for your Arsenal. Can't wait for you to join Arsenal. Like people Man. are so on it. I actually love it. I just the fan base is brilliant. And like you said, I know we get sick, but every fan base does. But I, the dedication to it is incredible. Absolutely. Um, favorite moment. Oh, favorite moment, James. Obviously, I've got a few. So yeah, like I said, the sign the thing. That was up there for me. Um, yeah. I'm, I have to put in Man, beating Man United. I have to. It was my birthday. So it's quite, it's quite, this is quite, this is a more of a selfish one. It was my yeah. birthday. I was doing a watch along. Um, we beat United. Yeah, man. I mean, that's, that's, that's up there. I haven't really got, wow, it's difficult. It's difficult. It's difficult. It's difficult. Um, but, obviously, the yeah. FA Cup. I mean, we won. Yeah, we won a trophy. I, Oh, oh, I don't know. I don't know. I'll let you go first again. I'll let you lead the way. I think mine has to be winning the FA Cup. Yeah. That day was so special. Um, and it's an obvious one. And I'm sorry it's an obvious one. But when Robbie said we're here. <laughs> I had to put that up. That is such a schoolboy error. No, to be fair, he never would have known. But that was fast hilarious. He, he, uh, he says that he didn't say that. We oh, yeah. he definitely said it. We, we must say that. Um, but um, I, I think winning the FA Cup, yeah, obviously we didn't have fans there, but it showed, this is going to sound a bit cringe, it kind of showed how special football kind of still is to everyone, even if you can't be there to watch it, even if you can't. Like, the players, they didn't celebrate any less without fans in the ground, you know? Mm. it still meant everything to them and it still meant everything to us and we had the house decorated and we partied and had a barbecue off people were like so the FA Cup I don't care like there's not many you don't get many moments as a football fan um unless you're one of the best clubs in the world where you win trophies regularly um and I just think it was so after after the season we had after how bad we were, to still win the FA Cup and beat City and Chelsea to do it. Um, and some of the goals we scored, you know, it, en route to doing that. Yeah, I, I think the FA Cup's got to go down as my moment of 2020, for sure. 
Do you know what, James? I'm gonna go up there and join you with that. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna say we have to do some claps. Yes, the FA Cup win. Um, it's only right. I think it's it's like it's a trophy as well. Like it, no matter what, yeah, fans are getting onto us for like over over celebrating. But right now, if we knew where we would be right now at that top, at that moment. Bro, that is we we have, we should have held on to every second of of, of us lifting that trophy. So, oh, trust I'm me, I did. Trust yeah, exactly. Me. I was very much like, this might be this might be the peak. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know what's coming next. I thought yeah. we was gonna go in and be like and absolutely smash the the, the 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 rest of the season, but you know what? It is it is what it is. Um, but yeah. you know, it, it was a great moment. I also feel close second, and I mean close close second on on the, my favorite moment is. Um, Joining you at AFTV. Oh, and bless. Yeah, so me too, man. This has been special. Bit cringe, bit cringy, bit, um, you know. Yeah, but it is what it is. I, I could be truthful. It is what it is. Uh, joining AFTV with James has been, yeah, probably the, actually, it's just as as happy as I was winning a trophy, it's up there. So, um, yeah. Oh, All right. So that is <laughs> it's a bit, it's a bit, bit emotional, but it is what it is. Next one, people. Well, hey, there, there've been, there've been some, um, there've been some good moments in the year that are worth sort of reflecting Arsenal when when you when we talk about all this you do realize actually there were some good um oh bless um there was there were some good moments for sure um in 2020 for Arsenal and I think the problem is recency bias always comes in you always think about the run from November to December you always think about how poor we've been but actually 2020 was not a bad year for Arsenal winning the FA Cup some of the signings we made hopefully we just build on it hopefully we build on it and you know we say when we try we say trust the process there's going to be some bad moments in there hopefully we'll come out the other side but there'll be more bad moments until Arteta gets all the players he wants and and and, and the and the deadwood leave and all that there's going to be some rusty moments but um yeah man. Think, so that's our think, moment of 2020 the no, and just before we move on yeah <laughs> I think people clock obviously you're Italian, you're half Italian, yeah. So they didn't they didn't mean to do this, but I'm crying. So I said get a Rome. <laughs> get, get a Rome. <laughs> Mo A B. Mo Ab, I'm so sorry, bro. I'm sure you get a room. <laughs> because James is Italian as well. That's perfect. Oh another another moment of 23 that I might have to hold on to. Big up Mo. Um that is funny. <laughs> um, Question: right. I'm putting you on, on the spot. I'm putting you on the spot here a little bit. Oh, a bit of fun. Why not? Are there any moments outside of Arsenal for, of 2020, like from a footballing perspective? Is there anything? Is there anything that happened in the footballing world away from Arsenal in 2020 that you particularly enjoyed? I'll give you one. It's such a oh, petty one. Such oh, a petty one. Bayern beating Barcelona eight two. Oh wow. And, and, and us not being the only team associated with 8-2. Do you know what? That was a moment. That was unbelievable. Like, thank you. <laughs> My group chats were going, that day, yeah, were actually, they were going berserk. Like, people were yeah, like, yeah, are yeah. you Like, do you know what? That was, wow, yeah, that's a good question. That's a good question. Some great, some great shouts. The Lanzini goal against Spurs. I mean, that's oh, not, that is... Yeah. Not one of my favourites, but a great moment. I got to that say, was, yeah, that was incredible. That was incredible. That you know what? That's that's up there. That's up there. That's definitely up there. Yeah, because Spurs, the Spurs fans. Oh my days! And um, that's oh, up this there. Is but... a good one. Watford beating Liverpool. Oh, another. Oh wow, yeah, yeah. This is this is mine. I was waiting for it. I was waiting to see if I could get it. And I know. It... Do you know what? I have yes. a bias. I have a massive bias. People, if you don't know, um, I don't want to talk about too much, but yeah, if you don't, I body so I, I body double Rashford and do his campaigns and stuff. And I've met him from this is from years back from when he first broke through. And I always said this kid is a, is unbelievable talent. He's a top guy, um, and he just proves he keeps proving to the world how amazing he is. So this is off the pitch. I mean, off Arsenal and off um, football. Well, I guess off football in terms, uh, this was my 2020 top moment, Rashford yeah. for me. I'm just Super buying him. Don't like the United fans, get a load of stick from them. But when it comes to just United, that one player, Rashford, um, mm. and we'll see. I've, I've met I've got a, a couple, times. got a couple more relegating Watford. I think it's more relegating Troy Deeney. That was fun. Um, <laughs> although, you know, someone here mentioned, uh, let me get it up. Someone oh, mentioned Kieran. 
this one as well, Modica, Modica, uh, Modica, Modica, K, Liverpool losing the numbers. Do you know what? This one's quite, is quite close to me as well because I've got so much stick saying we're going to have a gold, we're going to have a gold Premier League, blah, blah, and everyone was just like on yeah. my back. Because this is one of my that's my top argument, James. By the way, when fans get at me, I was like, But you've never been unbeaten, so please don't talk to me. So, that have that not happening, they got Watford. Um, um last on. one that Tierney slipped. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hope he doesn't watch this. That was hilarious. He went so many different ways to fall over. Wait, it was he like, fully just went <laughs> like it was, it was nuts. It was, I've got to say. I wish we'd won the game so I could find that properly hilarious. But I think I think we ended up losing. Was it the Villa game? Yeah. It was completely as a shambles. But it was a funny yeah. moment. Oh, that so, was cool. Yeah. Anyway, sorry for putting you on the... Uh, oh, this makes me laugh. No, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's hope... Yeah, I hope yeah. this ages well, though. I hope this video ages well. Because if he get, does actually sign... Oh, that would be so awkward. But that is funny, though. Uh, Sancho, they, the United fans really thought that was going to happen. But boy, and yeah. also, and also, whilst whilst losing to Brighton in Project Restart was gut wrenching and painful, mm. the the Thai fan cam yeah, is yeah, legendary, iconic, it's iconic, iconic, uh, How? and definitely. You know, I just I wish. It's so sad that we had to lose for that to happen, but it, it was a it was a great moment as well. It's crazy but, how many like, moments can be made from AFTV, but like, that one there, every time I see Ty, I, it just replays in my head him saying that about Mope. It's, it's, I do. I, I absolutely love Ty, and he got his revenge a few days ago, so I'm delighted for him. Yes, exactly. Right, okay, let's um, let's move on to the, the, the next... Oh, it's a player of the year now, yeah? Player of the year okay. now, wow. We're okay. there. Okay. Okay. Right. Player of the year. I mean, mine's obvious. Mine is very obvious. Mine is very obvious. I, 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 come on, Shall I, I read out some candidates? Go on. You do the candidates. So I, I think I think there's only four really. I don't I don't think there's any others who come in who come into the the discussion. Abamyang, yep. Yeah. Yug Sharma says it there. Bukayo yeah. Saka. Yep. Yeah. Burnt Leno. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. And uh and Kieran Tierney. They're the four for me. Um <laughs> you sure not Ozil? <laughs> uh, sorry, now, James. I was, I was getting distracted because sorry, can you just quickly read about one more time? Apologies, this is four for me. I was right. reading Ab Abamyang, Saka, yeah. Leno, Tierney. Now okay. I think small as it's break small down each one and why they deserve it. Yeah, go. You you, you you break it. You break them down because okay. I'm very yeah, I'm heavy so. at the moment. Yeah. Um, I start with the obvious, Aubameyang. The goals he scored. How in a struggling team he kept scoring goal after goal. The goals at Wembley to lift us one and a half trophies. I call it two. Some people call yeah. it one. So whatever. Um, you know he was cool as ice and clinical. When it absolutely mattered most. Oh, you're you're swayed. You're sw you're changing my mind already. Bloody no, yeah. I know it, it changes my mind when I talk them through. Um, so Abamyang, I think, is absolutely up there. You know, yeah. it, it's going to take some big arguments to beat him. But let's go through the rest. Bakayo Saka. If you're talking sheer <sighs> performance levels, in terms of Sorry, let me rephrase that. If you're talking a player who no one had much expectation for him at first, yeah, but then did a job at left back, left wing back, left wing, then he dropped into central midfield, and now he's playing on the right wing, and he is delivered in every single position consistently and had an impact on this team and often looked like the only creative outlet when there never was one, you've got to say... No player has done that better than Bakayo Saka, at a, mm. you know by a country. He's been absolutely class, class. absolutely class, class um, In internationally as well. Um, yeah, to kind of be a bit biased here, but obviously internationally as well, he's stepped up. Um, yeah. The periods of games he has to he had to play through the amount of football he was playing. Um, I think him and him and Maguire had like the most minutes um, played. Like that is it's. 
obviously in Bayern as United, but he's, they've had they played so many so many games and been cons- and not them. He's been played so many games and been so consistent. I mean, there is an argument for it. I mean, Abamyang is 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 it's, it's got to be between. I've got of oh, this. Um, Rahel says, yeah, one Abamyang, Saka two, Leno three, KT four. It's it's very tight. It's very tight between no, no, those. No. Who's next? So we got we've got Leno as well. Um, go on, yeah. James. Where do you where do you think Leno stands in this in this debate? I need to. Do you know what? No, I think I think if I'm looking at that that one two three four there, I think Kate um, Kiarantini, um takes up pass, passes Leno. Um, I think Leno's had a great season. Um, yeah, a great year. Sorry, not season, great year. And but I just feel, um, I don't know. I don't know. I think I think Katie edges it there. He, he's kept us. He's kept us. He's kept us safe. But at times we're still where we are. Go on. What goes against Leno is um, you know Emmy Martinez, and I hate to say it, but. But when Leno was out, Martin has stepped up and did as well. Some argue better, some argue not as good. You know, but but there was absolutely nothing in it. The, the two were superb goalkeepers. And I think because Leno wasn't there for the winning of the FA Cup, um, the Community Shield, he didn't play in those Wembley games. Um, and then I think, in fairness, he did take... He took a month, I think, to get... Maybe even two months to get back to the Leno we remembered and I can imagine there's a lot of pressure on him but I think over the course of 12 months when he has played his level has been stellar I mean he's played at a very 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 good level consistently and against Brighton and Chelsea what I enjoyed about his performances were he he, he wasn't pulling off you know wonder saves it was going in the top corner and he gets fingertips to it he wasn't doing that he was just every ball that came in the box against Chelsea, he claimed it. Every ball he could claim against Brighton, he claimed it. Every shot that went at him, he didn't just get low and parry it away. He held it. You know, it came to him and he looked after it. Mm. There, there were a few moments like that, and that's really safe goalkeeping. It was something I hate to say, it was something Martinez did very well when he came into the team. He was the ball's coming and he was catching it. So credit to our goalkeeping coach for the amazing work that he's done with both players. Um Leno deserves a shout, and I think of yeah. the of the four players, Leno's definitely not the player of the year, but he no. deserves to be mentioned for the award because I think he's been very, very good. There's a lot of Kirantini fans in here, you know, James. There's loads. Yeah, a lot. They are they are they are rife in the in the in the comments. And do you know what? Do you know what? I, I've come to my I've come to my conclusion because what well, what I want to also remember, guys. Up next for our, for our activity is expected player of 2021, expected best player of 2021. So, um, sorry, it says, why are you looking best serious? I just got to see the comment. It's because when I'm looking at the comments, I'm really, fo- you, it's so, you have to have so much concentration. To, 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 do you know, in it, it, James, you've got to agree, like they're moving so yeah. far. And like, I'm reading them, making sure they're not like a spam. Yeah, sorry, that's why this one here, Valakai, um, just had to just just let you guys know it's, it's difficult to manage both, <laughs> both of these. But I've come to my decision. Up next will be Player of the Year for 2021 that we think is going to be the Player of the Year. So I'm going to go with Player this year. For me, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with Bamiyang. And I know this might be a surprise. I don't know if it's a surprise to people. Obviously, he's done so much for us. He's carried us at... Um, he carried us through the trophy trophy runs and the seasons before. Yes, I'm aware right now he's not fully firing on form, but I can't forget everything he's done for us. Um, I'll be a hypocrite if I did that. So I have to say, um, yeah, I have to say a Bamiyang for this. But when it comes to the player of 2021, I'm sure you guys will be able to guess. But um, James, you, who's your player of the year? So I am going for, I've given this a lot of thought, and I absolutely love and respect what Aubameyang has done. But I'm going to give it to Kieran Tierney. Did you go in the comment? No, I, I don't know. What's going on here? What's <laughs> going on here? I'm not saying he doesn't deserve it, guys. So don't come kill me. <laughs> don't come for me. But, um, wow, I didn't see that one coming. So, my reason for Tierney is, if you're talking about the whole calendar year and a level of performance consistently Mm. a consistent high level of performance throughout the whole time then actually you kieran tierney is is the only one who has delivered 
at that level throughout all of it. Now, what I mean is, if you look at Bukayo Saka, but this isn't to criticise anyone. Bukayo Easy. Saka has been... Don't don't panic. Um, Saka's been wonderful. What a player he is. But he didn't play in the semi-final, final, you know, for the FA Cup run. Kieran Tierney was instrumental in that, as he was at Wembley. And then when things got bad, when things got really bad, end of October to basically like a week ago, Tierney kept playing at a level, whether he played left back, centre back, left wing back, whatever he was asked to do, he was absolutely superb. And he showed the kind of quality in terms of leadership as well, in terms of the passion. I just think the Bamiang, they all deserve. I mean, a Bamiang Sakatini, and anyone could win it. But I think if you're talking about a player who just never had a dip, never yeah. looked bad at all, in terms of if you're rating performances out of ten, always delivered an eight and a nine, always. Then I think it's got. I think it's Kieran Tierney for me, genuinely. Um, I think a Bamiang's had a blip in the last few months, and that's quite a lot. That's... He's not. But he's not been good October, November, December, mm -hmm. right? That's quite a lot of the year. Yeah. And Saka didn't play as instrumental a part in the cup wins as Tierney. So that's what does it for me. Don't look at me like that. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, Tierney, Tierney is my player Tierney. of 2020. We've got a Barry Yang and Tierney. A Barry right. and Tierney, well done. I mean, team, well done. I actually wish I could offer you something. I wish I could just deliver something to the training ground, boys. From us here at AFTV. <laughs> and, and and yeah, us, James, and says on AFTV. Right, next one. Last one before we, before we leave. Expected best player of 2021. Right, here we go. Oh, we should do, we should really do, we should do nominations. But, okay, I'll do, we'll do nominations. I mean, let, let's just shout, let's just shout some names out. Yeah, but before, actually, sorry, before we do this, the reason why, um, I, I had this one in. I just want to say, obviously, I credited it at the beginning. Match of the day, they did this. Um, I don't know how I wasn't. Basically, they did for the whole league. So I'm just going to name only. They only used two players in from Arsenal. Well, it was Martinelli and Saka. However, I believe there's loads more um, that could have been that could have been um, that could have been mentioned. But we're going to throw some names out now for nominations. We got yeah, Gabriel, um, Martinelli. Actually, both Gabriels. Both. Yeah, both yeah, both yeah. Gabriels. Gabriel, yeah, Gabriel Marte and Gabriel. I mean, they, they seem to be having a bright future, hopefully, going forward. We got um, my man. We got, oh, I was going to say, we got Saka. We got Partey as well. So that's four. Partey, obviously. Oh, a Mill Smith row. Have to throw him in there. I'm going to have to because I know he'll be smiling. That's five. That is five. I'm going to. Shall we put Tini in there as well? Or is uh, that he's, not fair? Def he's, definitely, he's definitely in the running. I mean, look, yeah. I mean, they're all. Everyone's in the running, quite frankly. Absolutely, everyone's got a chance of being mm. next year's player of the year, of course. But we love them. <laughs> that got me. That one got me still for my future. All right, sorry. Woo, that one got me. Creative. Oh, that um, one got me. Wow, it is not coming. Okay, cool. Um, I guess we're talking. Who is realistically going to be? Our best player next year. I've, I've got my answer. Yeah, I've got my answer. Um, I've got my answer. All right, cool. So they're, they're the six. They're the six, though. They are the six, I think, top shouts. Um, you could throw a load more in there, to be fair. You're right. There is there is still a lot that you could throw in there. But I'm going with mine early doors, yeah? Let's just get out of the way. Everyone knows. Fakayo Saka. I'm sorry. He he has, has to be. He, he, he hasn't given me a reason um, to never to not pick him, I actually argued with myself in here about him being player of the year against over a Bamiang. But um, yeah, man, it's got to be Saka. It's got to be. It's got to be, man. I, 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 he's just what he's class. He's absolute class, and he, he has is. so he's phenomenal. He has, he's nowhere near his ceiling. He's he can't yeah. be. He can't be. He's nineteen. He can't be near his ceiling. Like he, like players players hit peak at like 24, 25. He has so 
so far to keep to go um, in his career. Uh, I just all I keep I've saying it. I've said it quite a few times. I just hope he doesn't get sold. I hope he he realizes how how much he means to us as Arsenal fans um, and how, how how far he can go in his career. I don't want him to go to Barcelona or Real Madrid or I don't want him to get sold out and uh, him get pinched from a bigger club. I just think he should just keep his head down and um, keep striving. He's going to be twenty twenty one. He's going to be a, as if he's not already. He's going to be a superstar. Yeah, um, he he he, re he really is. What a star boy we got. Um, so my agree with me. Projected, expected, whatever you want. Um, player of twenty twenty one. I am going for Thomas Partey. Uh, you are on. You are on a mad one this morning. You are trying to. You're just spinning me out. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't see that. I, I get it. I do get it. It's more we've seen of him. He's been. I've, he's been yeah, I've got one great. reason, right? I've got one Go reason. On. Over Smith Rowe, James. Yes, I think Thomas Partey. I love Smith Rowe, but I think Thomas Partey will be better than Smith Rowe next year. Yeah, I do. Oh, I suppose it's for 2021, isn't it? It's not like. Yeah, but no. I'm, not talk I'm not talking in five years' time. Yeah, I know. I know. I'm being a bit. Oh. Um, listen. All right, go on. Explain it. Thomas Partey has played a handful of games, right? Played the the United game, the Leicester game, came against City, started the Spurs game with an injury. Now, whenever he has played, he has looked a class above every single other player on that pitch, mm -hmm. without question. He's looked faster, he's looked stronger, he's looked more skillful, he's looked more intelligent. He's looked more aware. Thomas Part. What's this? What are these comments. Um, no, no, carry on, carry on, carry Part on. Thank you, Nathan. Nathan Elf. Yes, Partey is different gravy. And I look at him, and when I watch him play in that first half against Spurs, I thought, "This is you injured against an informed, title-challenging side." And he was he was mugging him off. He was the best player on the pitch. Hoybier mm. couldn't get anywhere near him. And Dom uh, and Dombele didn't play. Well, um, they they struggled. They struggled to get to Thomas Partey. Yeah, yeah, agreed. He, he is a proper, proper, proper player, and I would love to see what this team looks like. I'm being called delusional in the uh, in the comments as well. Um, I'd love to see what Thomas Partey looks like with a proper midfield, with with an with a function midfield around him because he looks so good without that. Um, mm. I thought the way he performed at Man United, let's not forget, by the way, Man United, there were no mugs. They weren't in some drab form. They were they were spanking PSG in Leipzig. Mm. And we went to their backyard and Partey engineered just a, an away masterclass. I just think he's so supremely talented. We're so lucky to have him. I know I'm judging this off a very small pool of games, but... Mm. I, I do think if he keeps fit, he's going to be our best player next year. I'm, I'm convinced of it. Yeah, fair, fair, fair. Say it with me, Cecil Sucks. Welcome to the Black Party. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I could have a bit of fun. Nah, you got I, don't a bit of... <laughs> I don't know who this guy is, but the facts. Anyway, say it with me, Cecil Sucks. Mm. Anyway, right, no doubt for 2021. But yeah, James, okay, so Partey for you. For well, the player of 2021 um, projected to be. Um, I'm not. I mean, what we've seen of him, I can't really. I can't actually really argue with it. But um, I just, I've got. You know me. I'm as I'm as Saka fan through and through. And he's he's been um, he's been world class. So yeah. Um, so you got Partey. I got Saka. Round of applause. Well. <laughs> so true. Imagine they flop. Imagine. Do you know what? Touch wood. Touch wood. Touch wood. Touch wood. Yeah, yeah. I'm touching all the wood on this chair. Yeah. yeah. This video could age beautifully, or it could age really bad, really yeah, bad. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, but that—that's yeah. the beauty of making predict predictions in football media, isn't it? Mm, 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 exactly that. Exactly that. Um, thank you, everyone, in the comments as well. Thank you for. Do you know what? It's been. It's guys. I'm, gonna, let's, I'm not going to be too deep, but thank you, everyone, um, that's watched. Stay tuned to mine and James's shows, got involved. Um, you'll see plenty more of us, as you know. Obviously, we're now with AFTV for the long run. But um, thank you so much for this year, for 2020. It's been a tough year. Um, 
thank you for watching the content and I hope it's offered you something that is getting through um, the tough times that are going on in the world. If whether it's affected you or it hasn't, I hope um, we've been the voice or the face that, um, yeah, that's kind of bring you positivity and, and happiness. It's been a tough year. Uh, stay tuned. There's going to be plenty more coming your way. I just really thought it would be nice to say that and hopefully the Arsenal will keep climbing and winning games, you know, as we climb up the league table. James, is there anything you want to say before we head out? It's quite emotional, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> well, just that um, I've I really enjoyed doing the show today because I think um, it has been a really doom and gloom year for everyone, as I mentioned, um, not just on the pitch for Arsenal because there have been some bad moments. Um but, you know, obviously with everything people are going through, the pandemic and and everything, it's, yeah, it, it, it's been rough. And so obviously we're wishing everyone the best. Um, we hope people have had a good Christmas and that 2020, this last day, it's literally today, isn't it? I mean, yeah, yeah I don't even have any New Year's plans. So I'm not even like, I don't even realise, is it today? Um, you know, I think we're all at a point where it's like, we're all ready for 2021. But I enjoyed yeah. doing this video, doing the stream with you, as I do every morning. But this one in particular, because I think it kind of brought out the good moments in 2020 for Arsenal and just sort of remembering that, you know, like, for, yeah, as much as sometimes I want to strangle this club, I do love it as well. So it just is what <laughs> right. it is. But Right. Yeah. right. So everyone, thank you again. Um, happy New Year. Happy New Year to you all. Everyone watching and watching now or watching later. Thank you so much again. Bit of bass in my voice. This is it's been it's been it's been a weird year, but happy to be here. We're continuing going forward, and yeah, thank you to Don Robbie as well for bringing us on board. And yeah, we'll be back soon, back in the studio, giving you the best content that we can. As always, have a lovely, have a lovely new year. Stay safe, and we'll see you very soon. See you. Yo, your boy's gone and done it again. I've given away brand new PS5s. I've given away all the latest trainers. But look what I got to give away this week. A brand new iPhone 12. This could be yours. All you got to do is go along to AFTV.mobi, go to AFTV Picks and enter our free competition. Yes, it's free. Go and do that. Go head to head against me and the iPhone 12 could be yours. Get involved right now. Go to AFTV.mobi, the link is in the description and uh, great way to start the new year.